So you're losing gunfight after gunfight and you need some advice. Don't worry, we've all been there and trust me at times I'm still there. You're tired of that little douchebag you know you're better than continue to beat you round after round and you've finally had enough. Yes, that might be personal experience talking, but don't worry because today I'm going to teach you some tips that you can use to help you go from losing many easy to win gunfights to winning more of your gunfights in Rainbow Six Siege. Also feel free to leave in the comments as well if you guys have tips for winning more gunfights. I'd love to hear your guys' input in the comments below. Before I start this video, I just wanted to come in and say thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Your comments have been amazing and I enjoy reading and responding to each and every one of you. We've jumped almost 500 subs in just 3 months and that honestly just blows my mind. You guys recently crushed my goal of 750 subs by the end of May and I can't thank you all enough. We are now on the road to... drumroll please. 1,000 subscribers. So if this video helps you guys at all in any way, please consider hitting that subscribe button and your support means the world. Now, on to the video. So the first tip I can give you and probably one of the most important tips of this whole video would be number one, crosshair placement. You are either aiming too high or too low or just at nothing at all. For those of you that do not know, Rainbow Six has a feature in their game called One Shot Headshot. And what that means is if you are shot in the head, even once, you will die no matter what. That means you need to stop aiming crotch level. You could shoot someone three times in their body, and if they hit you just once in your head, you will be the first to die. So it is very important to be aiming at the head. Now because of that feature, when your sights are aimed in, you should always be looking to aim for the head. And how that can help you is where you put your crosshair at. You'd want to aim at head level most of the time you are aiming in anyways, and how you know where the head level is would A, just be from experience, and as well, it's the second buckle on the barricade. So make sure you are not aiming too high or below that mark. Even if they are crouching, it is easier to drag your sights down versus flick it up. You would also want to always be aiming at where you think the next enemy could show up. Whether you get intel on them or just using your best judgment, having your gun already prepared to aim at the enemy will make you 10 times more ready to take that gunfight. But don't worry, it's also a bad habit of mine that I catch myself doing a lot and just not being prepared. Moving on to tip number two, recoil control. I know this one is kinda obvious, but it also has a very easy solution. The more time you put into your recoil control, then the better you will be in this game. Hitting your shots is just plain and simple, the definition of life and death. In order to be successful in this game, you need to be able to handle a gun's recoil. I mentioned there are some easy solutions, and a few ways you can do that is practicing your aim in the shooting range and free-for-all matches. Going into the shooting range is a great way to get better at recoil control. You have targets that move, stand still, and you pretty much have the whole nine yards to play with in there, and it will help you with your aim and your recoil control. Free-for-all will help you in using your gun in a fast pace. Your reaction times will get faster, as well as your aim and recoil. And it's also a way to play against live players at the same time. There is no reason you can't jump into these 10 to 15 minutes before you play with your team or just queue up by yourself. Tip number three, positioning. Not only is the ability to use your gun important, but where you are positioned is also just as important. You can't be in the middle of an area completely exposed and expect to have an upper hand in a fight. You should always think and ask yourself if you are in the best position to take a gunfight, as well as the least amount of angles for you to get killed from. Some questions you should be asking yourself, how many doorways can you get flanked or shot from? How many ways can an enemy attack you? Where can I be to get the upper hand on somebody that would come in this room? These are things that should be going through your head, and don't mindlessly run through an open area where there could be many angles players could be holding. If you have the ability to take a fight from behind cover, then do so. It'll be much better than just being in the open. Being unpredictable is also only going to give you an advantage as well. The less predictable you are to the enemies, and the more you will surprise them and throw them off guard. I'm going to make a video going more in depth about positioning, so be on the lookout for that video coming soon. Tip number four, aim down sights. 
I stress this tip in so many videos because it is just so useful. In the higher ranks of the game, sprinting can be a bad idea because it gives off a sound cue and the enemies will know exactly where you are at, as well as which direction you are heading. So by the time you get to where you're trying to push, they will already be prepared to kill you and get the jump on you before you even get the chance to react. Instead, have your sights aimed up in any situation you feel like could result in a gunfight. I'm not saying you can't sprint, but the more your sight is aimed up, the more you are prepared to take a gunfight. To this day, I still die from sprinting too much. Siege timing is one hell of a thing. You can hold the angle for what feels like forever, but the moment you think it's clear and take your sights off of the doorway, you get pushed. It happens time and time again. So just always be prepared for somebody to walk in through a door. Try aiming your sights up when you're turning new corners or you're entering rooms or even just times you feel like you don't need to be sprinting. Stop making noise so the enemies won't hear you. And you can stop giving the enemies the advantage in these gunfights. Stop giving them free kills. Last but not least, tip number five, just play the game. Don't worry if you're not an all-star at gun skill yet. Everything comes with time, and the more games and hours you put into this, then the more payoff you will see, and the more progression you will see as well. Your reflection of how you'll play this game and your skill will almost exactly mirror how much time you put into getting better. Just keep grinding and putting them hours in, and you'll be unstoppable. Don't worry, you'll learn, and as long as you remember to keep practicing and not to give up, You'll be winning your gunfights and ranking up faster than you'd ever imagine. You got this. I believe in you. Start implementing these tips into the gunfights you get into from now on, and you will see massive improvement. That's going to wrap it up for me. Remember to leave your tips down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear the input the rest of you guys have, especially if you're an experienced player, maybe giving tips to new players. I love the fact that I can go into my comment section and just see everybody trying to help each other out. And if you'd enjoyed this video or it helped you out, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Your support means the absolute world to me. Like I said, we're on that grind to 1,000 subs, and all glory goes to you guys. I could not do it without you. Anyways, I'll catch you all in the next one, and have an amazing day, and I'll see you later. Peace.